This video is going to quickly show you how to connect to a SQLite database in a Pocket PC application using the .NET Compact Framework and Visual Studio 2008. So we're going to create a project in Visual Studio 2008. Um, let's go to Create Project. And it's going to be a smart device project. And we'll do a device application. We're going to target the Pocket PC 2003 using the Compact Framework 3.5. And before we get going on there, we're going to need to download and install the SQLite database. And if you go to sqlite.org slash download, uh, HTML. You'll see a link down here, uh, SQLite DLL Win32. Um, this is for the binary for the Windows SQLite. So I download, downloaded this already, and um, as well, I downloaded the uh, Northwind database that's compatible with the SQLite database. And for that, I went to uh, SQLite.org, uh, CVS track slash wiki p converter tools, and you'll see down here. Um, well, this is the top of the page. If you scroll down, and you will see the uh, here is the Microsoft sample database for SQL Northwind, and you click it, and uh, you get that link. The actual link, for the record, is uh, this right here. Download.vive.net/northwind.zip. So um, you'll want to download those files. You'll in, you will install the SQLite uh, executable, or run the executable anyway, and it's really self-explanatory. Just keep on clicking Next, and it will install. And then when you s uh, download this Northwind database, uh, you will want to install it actually anywhere, but for the record, I installed it in the same directory where my SQLite uh, database lives, which is in Program Files, SQLite.net, and then I created a data samples directory. And inside that, I added the .sl3 uh, Northwind database file. And it's uh, pretty small, 664 kilobytes. I just realized that. Anyway, um, so once you get that going, let's close this out. And we will go to uh, Visual Studio. It's emulator manager. <coughs> I'm going to select the Pocket PC. Uh, 2003 emulator and then right click it and connect and so there's our emulator once it connects I'm going to cradle so I right click on the device again let's minimize this so here in the emulator manager I'm going to right click on the emulator and then cradle with the emulator so we can close this now we don't need that anymore it runs in the background and now I'm going to use the tools and connect to device and connect to the PC20 uh, 2003 emulator. And so it's going to find it. It's going to find the emulator that's already running and uh, make that connection. OK, so let's close that. So if we were to just run the application as is now with not adding any code, just use the default form that Visual Studio created, we will see that uh, our emulator is in fact working and I will minimize this so we can and there's our emulator there's no form or anything so just to give you an idea of what's going on okay so let's stop the uh, debugger and like I said we want to uh, create uh, a form that will connect to a database and retrieve some data so I've already as you can see Connect, uh, created a d data connection that connects to the SQLite. If you don't already have that, you go to Data Connections, Add a Connection, and then you change the data source, choose SQLite Database File, and then you will browse to that SL3 file that, um, that you saved somewhere. Like I said earlier, I saved it in my Data Samples directory within my SQLite root directory. So you'll uh, select the SL3 file, open it, and uh, you can use the default uh, connections or the default settings and click OK. 
and if everything goes well, hopefully it does, you will see your SQLite database in your server explorer over here. Okay, well what I want to do first, now that, well let's just open up the connection. I want to first uh, add a button to our form and let's say a text box. So again this is going to be a, an extremely silly simple example just to kind of get your thoughts going and get you doing something. Okay, I'm going to do a multi-line text box. Alright, and let's drag that down. So what I'm going to do is have, when you click this button, it's going to loop through um, a data set of uh, tables and just display the table names. Again, just to whet your appetite, how things go. I want to go to my <coughs> solution and add a uh, new item. And I'm going to add a data set of data. And I'm just going to keep the default name, data set 1. So uh, here's our data set designer. I'm going to select um, some tables from our server explorer. Customers, employees, order details, and orders. So this designer here is our data set and in this data set we are um, adding four tables which means we, our data set will contain four tables and uh, Visual Studio creates all the code in the background that uh, will make this happen. So now all we have to do is uh, let's click our button and let's instantiate this data set that we just created and we are going to loop through the tables that exist in this uh, data set. can't say it enough how silly this demo is, but I hope it will at least get thoughts going. All right, so now we're going to display the name of the uh, table. Table name. Okay, so we can run this now. go to our emulator which is running in the background already so Visual Studio is compiling our form now it's uploading it up to our emulator and there's our form <coughs> so when I click this button it should uh, loop through instantiate the data set and then loop through the tables within that data set and it takes a couple seconds to get that data connection going and you can see customers, employees, order, details, orders. Uh, that's kind of, I should have uh, split it just so we can see here the names. Let's run this again so we can easily see the name of the tables. Alright, here we go. So we can see customers, employees, order details, and orders, which are the table names of this data set. Orders, customers, employees, and order details. <coughs> 